Hey guys, Andy Punch here. We're back with Fast Skate, episode four. Crackers don't matter. I am very curious about this episode. A few of your patrons said you've been looking for the event to this episode. I've actually found out a lot of people at my workplace actually have watched Fast Skate, like they've been massive fans of it. Like some of the people I get along with really well. Um, they're all Rigel fanboys, which respect. I love that. Um, but a lot of them have watched it for a long time. But all of them have also said that in this episode, because he was checking where I was, and he goes, yes, you're about to start one of the best episodes. And I'm like, what? And he goes, crackers. And he just kept saying crackers to me. He's like, what are you going to try? He said, you're going to know next episode. So I'm fucking curious. <laughs> I, just, I don't have a clue. He just kept saying crackers don't matter. And I'm like, this is a title episode. So... I am curious. I have no idea what's going to happen. A lot of you just said this is going to be a good one. So I'm looking forward to it. I think if like, two of my good friends say this is like a good episode, you guys have picked today as a good episode. I have great faith. So I'm looking forward to see what this is going to be about. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction. Leave a like, subscribe if you do. Check out the picture of the early access. Let's jump into this. To be fair, crackers are banging. Yeah, a bit of cheese, a bit of pickle. Oof. Well, it does make a beautiful souvenir. But your mouth would dry as fuck. Well, no thanks to you, the module has my modifications on it, so we can monitor and verify the results. What the fuck? Who is that? It programs itself on the inverse of the power curve. I will need someone to start the module, please. Yeah, of course you will. You know, I once bought a set of knives from this guy on TV. I'm just feeding food, food on four months. Seven, eight. Why is no one shouting? Oh. oh by the goddess, it worked. <laughs> See, nothing happened. And it might explode. What? What are you all looking at? Bubba, 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 bubba. <laughs> It's still my favorite thing in the world. My 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 dream in life now is to see this intro in IMAX. <laughs> uh, I love it. I'm answer that question. Pilot, you do the long range scan on the planet. We send Aaron out on the prowler to check it out. We're going to play this thing. Why does he look so done? <laughs> I forget. <laughs> it's rare that it would disturb beings of your sentient stature. Now, what exactly does this light do to those lesser species? <laughs> so, <laughs> Doc. Doc. <laughs> just like smiling as he looks at John. <laughs> Are minor and tender. Anybody feel anything? Nope. No. I do. Photosynthesis. <laughs> 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 Two fingers. Thought you were blind. I am, but my other faculties have compensated. Uh, I have developed an internal radar of sorts. I may never be able to read a database, but I can sense motion and avoid most. Data. 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 God damn it. <laughs> my English. Forget it. No, I get, I get English wrong like, all the time. Why is she in all the crackers, man? How come you weren't up in command? Didn't you want to see the pulsar lights? I've seen everything the universe has to offer. Oh, well, we're very normal. That's a lot of crackers. I feel like the meaning of the crackers is just going to be like devoid as soon as this episode is done. You know, we say a word long enough, like China, when you hear China, China, it just sounds weird after a while. Food. He thinks I'm taking more than my share. Are you? No. Look. With Rigel's 50 stomachs, let's be honest. No one's going to beat that. It's three stomachs he needs to fill. <laughs> Anything further from the engine core? Fine, I'll take you down another tier. What are you doing? Finding Charles takes a place to bunk. Well, he's not coming in here. He wouldn't want to go in there, Cranky. All of his senses. <laughs> Look how angry Rigel is. <laughs> Fucking love Rigel. <laughs> That's right, it is 
studied it. It affected lesser species. That might explain her behavior. Can't get down here. It's your turn to babysit the trial takes you. Why do I feel like it's going to affect everyone else but Crichton? Are you sure you're all right, John? I'm fine. Just get your big blue butt down here. If that's such a case, that would be a big little twist in see if it just affect John. I actually like that. I thought that was actually the case. Is anything that's not maggot covered? Obviously, so are you. <sighs> Jenna told me that you would start to rub from us. But I'm not. It's that bitch. It's Jenna. She's <laughs> it's that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even have food. That's the first time I ever seen Rigel be sad about eating food. Rigel be sad about eating food. <laughs> that was brutal, Jesus. Oh, uh, do you know what? I thought it was just going to affect right. No, that's cool. I actually like that. <laughs> a small twist, but a welcome one. <laughs> he seems to be in some kind of trance. Yes. Do you like? You know, I don't think I do like them. I thought as much. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised after ripping off his arm. You know, <laughs> I'd be a bit pissed. There's a hidden message on there, and she won't show it. She's out of her quelling mind. There's nothing on there. Show the message. What? Show her the message. If there's nothing secret on the beacon, then show her the message and she can get the hell out of here. Queen. What do you want me to watch? <laughs> <laughs> What's on there? You want me to <laughs> This is like all the portrayal on each other plus 2,000. <laughs> Thank you. What's going on in here? <laughs> oh, dog is there as well. Why won't you show her what's on the beacon? Oh, for God's sake. Over me. <laughs> what the Jesus? Aaron. They don't care. I'll do what I want to. I do what I want to do. Hello, <laughs> Virgin. This was a fun episode to record. Pilot. So it's John. Oh, John's been affected now as well. See, with John, I can't tell if he's affected because John's just got crazy anyway. Let's be honest. This guy's scary. <laughs> hey, but you said well, perhaps we should turn back. My device is not worth risking any of you. Shut up. <laughs> I want more to stay there. Remember when she was that nice motherly character in season one? <laughs> I would have never expected to talk like that. Are you working for Crichton? What are you talking about? Leave me alone. Sam. Ah! <laughs> I forget. I always forget he can do that. She's definitely working for Crichton. <laughs> definitely. I'm only judging on my experience, but I've never seen such a deficient species. Have you run the scan on the pulsar? Like, uh, how do humans make it through a cycle? <laughs> when he just turns into a savage. We find it difficult if you run the scan. You have no special ability. You're not <laughs> <laughs> just pilot. <laughs> Is there anything you do well? Watch football. Have you run the scan? Nobody trusts you, Crichton. You know that. 
Sometimes they pity you because I'm of your incompetence. But you amuse us, just... and that don't touch my tongue. Are you on a... <laughs> 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 oh fucking hell. Well maybe not. Wait. Hey guys, take him on to something. Stay back. We're only taking our equal share of food. <laughs> what is it with them in the crackers? <laughs> Don't make me crazy, okay? It's hard enough trying to people have been stealing food, so we're only gonna take I don't care about crackers. We Oh, there's the line. We want food. Is that what this is all about? I can't tell if John's... I know everyone else has gone crazy, but you can't tell if John has. <laughs> Just being in character. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Baskin Robbins, Ben and Jerry's good humour. Oh, Ben and Jerry's is banging, to be fair. Creamsicle and fricksicle! Because <laughs> John's not acting distrusted, you as are, so I don't <laughs> That's so necessary for the whole I love this crew. <laughs> not planning on stealing your food, right? Why are you all dead in the crackers? Like it. Uh, that ties these guys pull guns on each other. Go away. <laughs> What's going on? Hiya, honey. <laughs> His little What's face like the shining. Hey, uh, listen, I might be crazy. Could be. But I got a plan. What do you say we all put our guns down and lock them in the closet that way nobody gets hurt? No. <laughs> Okay, no. Next time you'll be a crouton, Crichton. <laughs> <Hi. laughs> a little <laughs> smile. Oh, for <laughs> sake. Pilot's turning to like the antagonist. I'm aware of her actions. He's absolutely right. The power settings are too low. Thank you so much better. You must. John's acting so funny. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you missed that! <laughs> Why are you messing with the thief? You can't. Oh my god. Oh, this fucking facial expressions. I just can't, I, this is not what I expected, I can't be honest. <laughs> They don't get it. They don't get how crazy they are. Of course. That was Scorpius just <laughs> decided to show up. Oh, please do the satisfying thing with your ears again. I want to see that again. Is Scorpius going to be part of the episode now? It's going to be like that Black Ops where he's got him with him. Pilot won't let you. I have disabled his ability. I just want the Scorpius to do that thing again with his ears, because that was really satisfying. <laughs> Your grunt depends on how. Need a grunt to give me a military assault lecture? 
I wrote military assault lectures. You? The only thing you've ever assaulted is a plate of food cubes. Now shut up. Uh, and you remember that cracker? That older kid, how he loose. Oh my god, is he actually getting followed by Scorpius? This is amazing. <laughs> Hunt time, combat time. Why the beach? What? It's weird how it's Scorpius talk about. <laughs> Let's go to the beach. <laughs> See the situations in bikinis. I thought they hate heat. <laughs> Finish him. Finish him. He legit just shot dog. <laughs> Not pretty dangerous with dog. His dog has been poisoning. Hi, baby. <laughs> Forgive me, he's on a mission now. Oh, Jesus. No, don't be mean to cheer on her. They just got crackers everywhere. Crackers coming. Crackers going like he's a horse. <laughs> Gonna switch sides? Oh. You're lying. You know how I know that because you always lie. You have no integrity. You have no honor. You cheat. You steal. You lie. You stuff your face. That's you. What's not wrong? He just got back. Jesus Crichton, why is he in a beach, sir? Why are you What's going on, Scorpius? I didn't think I'd ever need this in my life until now. Jesus. Listen, I just shot Scorpius. Young, and I'm old and fat. When I'm old. Just rephrase that. He wanted me to shoot you. <laughs> I love the unnecessary dive. <laughs> Always makes my day. They really need to get out of this field. Who'd... We had time combat time. Uh, oh, he won. <laughs> Hi, uh, kids. He literally just took out the whole crew. <laughs> Crichton beat the whole crew. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not before we all have the breakfast of losers. Oh, look, everybody, sun shines awake. Ronaldo! Oh, even on a flesh wound. Hey, <laughs> just but merely a scratch. Couldn't Doggo use his tongue right now? Have I got your attention now? Yeah, maybe. Nah, this is just legit, John. This has got nothing to do with the lies. <laughs> Guess he was right about him. Whenever you get a random person who joins the ship, there's something evil about him. <laughs> I need more light. Why? I'm not sure if I can. More, <laughs> more light. <laughs> but I can deal with it. You just gotta find a way to keep the light and the heat off of me, and I'm gonna go in and kill it. You? We're not sending you in there after it. Oh yeah? Well, 
I'm the only one around here keeping it vaguely under control. <laughs> vaguely, that's just... <laughs> the guy who wiped out his whole crew. <laughs> He's no warrior, yeah, he beat you all. Look at you two bozos. He's right. He's got to do it. What? Don't you get it, Furball? Look, I might be the only one that affects you, but he's deficient. Who are you calling for? You've got the word out about all of us. That's why your optic nerves aren't being affected. I got bright eyes that are better than 2020, and they're blue. <laughs> it's the blue. It's all about hazel, mate. Hell is this? Heat deflecting case. You'll burn up in there without it. Smells like puke. I pre-digested it to increase its potency. Ooh. <laughs> it actually is puke. These turtles may look like crap. Stop whining. You sound like a silk man. That the only thing that'll stop you from going blind in there. Probably will anyway. Here, this may be of some use to you. I made it from a piece of my pearl, and it will withstand exactly in laser pulse. Thank you. Solar reflective flare wrap. Put it on tight. Does this strike any of you superior beings? It's a little bit ironic. <laughs> I'm the deficient one, and I'm still saving your butts. Bend over. He looks beautiful. What is We've this? We've kept it in damn file case for as long as we could. Right. <laughs> what is this outfit? <laughs> when <laughs> it's basically a video game. <laughs> They have video game room with the stats like it's giving him plus five this strength. Is <laughs> so it won't matter how ridiculous you look. We are going to die. <laughs> He's the true hero we always needed. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. Whoa! You're taking a risky move. Top the next one. To shield, that's probably a terrible idea. <laughs> this looks a bit, it just looks banter. <laughs> uh, I kind of guess this is how the episode was going to go. I gotta be honest. <laughs> Oh, is that like Crichton's big first kill? Has he killed someone? I think he has. Yeah, probably has. Can't remember if he has. Hmm. Yes, I think he has. This was a good episode. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> the acting was on point. Honestly, you could say Crying wasn't crazy that episode. He was just being crying. I'm loving Crying's character though. I think like Crying was cool, like at the start, but he was sort of like your homesick psycho. <laughs> he wanted to go home and I totally turn into a psycho, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, um but oh, yeah, seeing whole crew. Seeing some uh, the, I think the most interesting one was actually seeing pilot. Um I wonder, like, if anything they were saying they actually believed in. I know distrust was put in a bit, it was increased distrust, but I guess deep down, so they might be thinking this stuff. Um, but overall, I think that was a really good episode. It was funny. I thought it was maybe just from, like, um, from getting that maybe I thought it would be like a drugged up episode where it was, uh, we were talking about what it was, but I didn't expect the whole crew to be off on head at all. <laughs> and John was fucking amazingly active there. I just thought I just took out the whole crew single handedly, like, no probs. Um,. <laughs> Crackers don't matter. It was just one line of the show. I thought it'd be used more for the title. 
Uh, I think um, overall, solid. Uh, I was impressed. I think this lived up to the hype that everyone was saying. <laughs> it was definitely funny. They act, some of the acting bits were fucking fantastic. <laughs> Ah, you missed! And then we moved that face. And then the armor scene at the end was worth everything. Because it was like a Dark Souls. Uh, Dark Souls moment. Um, so, yeah, overall, very, very impressive episode. Uh, I do have to get going because work is starting soon. Um, so, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the reaction either way. Leave a like, subscribe if you did. And I hope to see you next week. <laughs> oh, there's, so many, there's so many thumbnail potentials in this episode, I do have to say. Anyway, peace, guys.